Now I'm gonna show you guys how I build boundaries for spraying. Hmm, this is a this is a little bit tougher one. Something like that. So this is what he's trying to get nitrogen on. How's it going folks? I'm Mike with New Way Ag and also Drone Deer Recovery. Today I'm going to take you guys out in the field. Start it here at the trailer. This is the New Way Ag trailer that we mass produce. So if you're looking for a drone spray trailer, let us know. We build these and engineer it to be super efficient to cover hundreds and thousands of acres. I'm starting here and we're gonna go out in the field. And I'm gonna show you guys how I build boundaries for spraying. There's multiple different ways and I'm gonna show you the way that I do it on my phone and using my drone to scout the fields looking for hazards and that type of thing. So we're gonna go get into the truck and we're gonna go up the road to the farmer. He has approximately 160 acres for us to spray tomorrow and we'll talk a little bit more about what we're spraying and how much we're putting down, but we're gonna head over to the farm. We'll go from there. So you guys that are watching me that do custom applicating already or you're doing spraying, you're probably already like thinking, no, you can't do that. You can't boundary off of your phone. It's not gonna be accurate. You know, you're gonna be missing areas. And I'm telling you what, like you may think so unless you've tried it and absolutely know that it has errors. I did 11,000 acres in Indiana doing it the exact way that I'm gonna show you guys. There were a couple fields that were boundaried with a Mavic 3E and run through like PIX4D fields or Terra or something like that. But 99% of the fields that we sprayed were boundaried using the DJI Smart Farm app and then creating those boundaries, uploading it to the cloud and then downloading that data or that boundary to the controller itself. And it was very, very accurate. The drone's going to be pumping out 5.2 gallons an acre. It's going to be flying just over 15.2 feet per second doing that. And uh, you'll see tomorrow, make sure to tune in when we actually go spraying Tomorrow, you'll see how it all works. Today is showing you how we boundary the fields, look for hazards using our drone, and then putting it in, into our DJI Smart Form app. I'm gonna show you the boom sprayer, how the wheels are narrow and when you get a lot of weight. Early in Ohio, we get a lot of rain usually in the springtime which is great for growing things but getting into your fields it can make it a little bit of a pain this is a field that he was able to do with the sprayer but he got in here and started spraying and realized that it was just too heavy and too wet made a bunch of runs so this is what he's trying to get nitrogen on. He's trying to get, you know, shoot it with some nitrogen to boost the growth as it's coming out of winter. So you can tell right here how he was coming through here. Unfortunately, tore up his field a good bit. These are fields that I've already, already boundaried, but I'm just like double checking myself. I wanna make sure there's no power lines and stuff that come across and gonna take my drone off and uh, check them real quick. Already had a battery? Yeah, I didn't put a <laughs> full battery in. Yeah. I was just checking these trees, make sure there's nothing leaning in too far. And this one hangs in quite a ways, but I, I feel like I boundaried that properly. That power line comes across. 
one's on the other side of the road. Nice green field. I boundary that. I'm just gonna double check myself now when I uh Okay. Once I get here, I can pick that field and I can build a no spray zone. So the drone will fly past it, but it won't spray it if I if I mark it as a no spray. So, but I have to have the drone here tomorrow. Now, if you'd RTK and that type of stuff, you can. I'm going to fly the drone down there, check this line, make sure there's no power line that goes up through here. There's a line right there. There's a field out back here. It's across that tree line. Mm. It's it's only like a two acre field that we're gonna have to hit as well. Let's measure it from here. Come on, man. On this side, down there, there are trees. Oh yeah, that's wet through there. Trees there. That power line, I wasn't sure where that is. Making sure is that power line is right there. I'm just comparing it, like this power line here, this power line, how it goes up the driveway. And then we will delete the other one behind it, which is this one, go in here, delete field. Yep, that'll work. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, on to the next field. There was one field back there I reboundary just because it didn't quite look the same. That is where, you know, if, if you'd map, I'm not trying to like talk you guys out of mapping your fields, but if you get those maps, like updated ortho mosaics, you're gonna have those boundaries right where they need to be exactly. That's probably another seven to $8,000. And this, this does work, I mean, it's rare that it's like a field that's changed that much. So this is what I was checking to see. So there's a pole here. I seen this uh, pump jack out there, which is that pump jack there, but it's so hard to see the line. There's a pole here. That's trees have been caught. Hmm. This is a this is a little bit tougher one, something like that. So I have two drones. I'm setting this up. We have a field there and a field here, but I got to split that one into two and that one into single. This is 11 acres over there and 6.2, and I want to have enough for each drone, whatever that is. 11 plus 16. That's 11.5 uh, plus 6.2. Equals 17.7 .7 divided by two. 8.85 acres each. So now I'm going to build this boundary. I'm going to delete this. This is one scenario where mapping this farm 
would not be a bad idea. They removed a bunch of trees right along here, not a bad idea, but once I spray these with the drone and I see where I've gone, then I can just update my maps here. Makes sense? Same with this. They, uh, yeah, I said they cleared trees here. Yeah, because there's the pond. Just got done here at the last farm. We're spraying for the same farmer. He just leases fields in different locations. Definitely gonna have some challenging stuff for us tomorrow. Small areas, some fields that are cut and, you know, have fingers and that type of thing. So last few fields we were looking at are right down in that tree row there. There's gonna be, I think it's a, a small eight acre piece. Then we have a couple up here, this flatter area. So that's, those are gonna be easy. But I just wanted to show you guys this because there's there's multiple ways to boundary your fields. RTK route where you bring your Mavic out and you map all these and then you put it in Pix4D or something like that and create those boundaries. Uh, but you can also do it like we're doing it today on the on the app. Now, if you have fields that have changed big time, you know, the other way might be nicer. There's so many different ways. I just wanted to show you the way we're gonna do it uh, for tomorrow. Make sure to tune into that video where we're actually gonna get the trailer out and we're gonna go spray. But that's all we got for you guys today here on New Way Ag. Make sure to hit the subscribe because I'm gonna bring you the coolest ag spraying content out there. I'm just telling you, okay? So that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.